Hi folks, uh, just doing a quick video on how to trim carpet line around a window if you've already put the window in your van. We're getting quite a lot of requests for, for information on how to do this. Now unfortunately I don't have a van here that hasn't been done yet. Um, so we'll have a look at my van. Obviously on my barn doors here I haven't carpet lined them but I can use it as an example. So this is for if you've put your glass in already, you've got your knock-on edge trim. Now, when you put this on, it's, it's in there pretty solidly because actually in between the glass and the trim, it contacts the adhesive. So, you know, it would take a lot of work to get that out of there. So that stays in there. Um, and if you're doing this project on your own, quite likely you'll put the windows in first, then you'll maybe come back and do the lining a bit later on. Um, so basically what you've got to do, well, this is what I do. I would tend to get a bit of masking tape. We'll just use this rear door as an example. I would probably mask off uh, up to the edge of the trim like that. Then we would, so you imagine you've done that all the way around your window. Whoops, let me get that unstuck. So you have a strip of masking all the way around there. Get your high temperature adhesive. You would spray that on your metal work. So that would be sprayed right up to the edge of your rubber trim. That's got glue on it. And then obviously, you'd have your, your big bit of carpet that you do in the side of your van in. You'd spray your carpet. You would then, you'd be sticking your carpet on like this. Now this would probably be one big bit, so it would cover the whole window. You'd end up with it like this. Um, you would then remove the bulk of that carpet, leaving yourself, you know, an inch or two all the way around. At which point you would then be able to peel off this bit of tape. And then what I would tend to do is grab a Stanley knife with a sharp blade in it and I would trim that trim that down with about probably I don't know only about five mil of overlap maybe a little bit more so that you end up with something resembling that um, if you can see it so you've got a bit of an overlap and then what I did was I made myself a little Sort of wire tool with a bent end or it's like a little hook i've actually got two of them which means that i can use one to sort of prise that rubber back a little bit so you prise the rubber back and with the other one you start to run it back in behind that rubber trim so you end up with just a couple of millimeters tucked in behind your knock-on edge and if you do that all the way around it's quite laborious it does take a little bit of time um, but it certainly results in a really good finish um, and it's quite the best way to finish off around these windows and hopefully that will help and just take your time it's quite often useful just to do a do a trial area first for a few centimeters to make sure you're leaving enough or not too much material and see if you can finish that off neatly and then once you get the hang of it you can just work your way around the window all right um great hope that helps thanks for watching see you next time